I am Mrs. Arti Shingari from Kendra Vidyalaya No. 1, Ahmednagar. I have come once again with a new poem, A Watering Rhyme, from Class 4 English NCRT books. A watering rhyme, early in the morning or the evening hour, are the times to water every kind of flower. Watering at noonday, when the sun is high, doesn't help the flowers, only makes them die. Also, when you water, water at the roots, flowers keep their mouths where we should wear our boots. Soak the earth around them, then through all the heat, the flowers will, will have water for their thirsty feet. In this poem, children, the poet is trying to tell you that we should water the plants either early in the morning or late in the evening because at that time water will be taken by the plants. They will be absorbed by the roots and we should never water the plants in the noon time. In the noon time what happens? The heat of the sun is there and with that heat the water gets evaporated. So the plants get very little water. But in the morning and the evening, the sun's heat is not there. So all the water which you give to the plant, all the water, it is soaked by the soil and from the soil, the plants absorb with their part roots. So it is opposite. We drink water by the mouth upper part and the plants they drink water from the roots which is the lower part where we wear our boots. In this new words are there are watering, noonday, boots, soak, heat. Soak means full of water. The soil becomes soaked with water. It is full of water. Now reading is fun means we will do question answers. What is the best time to water the plants? The best time to water the plants is early in the morning and late in the evening. This is morning time and this is evening time. When should we not water the plants? We should not water the plants in the noon time. When the sun is above our head, see at 12 o'clock or in the afternoon also you should not water. Which of part of the plant should be watered? The roots of the plant should be watered. These are the roots. They absorb the water from the soil. The main function of roots is to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Now, silent letters. When we pronounce any word, so in some words, some letters are not pronounced. They are silent. There's an R. R means H. H here we don't pronounce. It we says R. H is silent. Wrong. We don't pronounce W. It is silent. So these are known as silent letters. Often. We say often. We don't say often. Often, so T is silent. Night, G and H, two letters are silent. So in some words, one letter is silent. In some words, two letters are sil silent. Right, here W and E. High, G and H. Knit, K. Doubt, we say doubt. So B is silent. No, we say no. K and W. Could, L. Likewise, should, L. Knife, here we don't pronounce K and E. So, these are silent letters. Walk, L. Walk, talk, L is silent. Now, we will come to rhyming words. Morning, evening. High, die. Boots, 
root car r heat feet where where so these are the rhyming words morning and evening ing words when we put in some words we put ing and then we make a new word morning evening likewise watering so water plus ing watering rising rise plus ing rise spelling is r i s e here we remove e and then put ing rising see then writing this is morning evening and then watering then rising then this is evening time writing this is reading read plus ing reading dancing dance plus ing dancing so whichever word ends with e we remove that e and instead we put ing so this is only the change otherwise singing sing plus ing so singing then wearing and last is laughing see the child is laughing happily there now some names of the flowers are there but they are not in proper order they are jumbled letters and of, from these jumbled letters we have to make the names of the flowers now first which word sweet pea so first flower is sweet pea second it is merry gold jasmine see if you will put all the letters in proper order you will get these names of the flowers then here if you will see t l o u s it becomes lotus it becomes mogra this is dahlia this is phlox this is pansy and last is hibiscus so one by one we'll see the flowers now sweet pea it looks like this marigold this is very common you must have seen this then jasmine white flowers with a very beautiful uh, scent then this is lotus mogra this is dahlia this is phlox pansy and this is hibiscus hibiscus you also say horseshoe flower then what happens when when we when we plant in the when we water the plants in the morning you have to choose one answer they will grow well or they will dry up in the morning means they will grow well from where do flowers get water flowers get water from the roots or from top they get water from the bottom that is water from by the roots then look for words in the poem which sound like the words given below r which word is that it is h o u r r then there t h e r e there this is there t h e i r flower f l o u r flower and this is also flower then where w h e r e is also where w e a r is also where these words they are known as homophone children the pronunciation is same sounding is same only the spellings and meanings are different sun s o n sun s u n sun through t h r e w through t h r o u g h through then punctuation on monday i will go to school here we will learn all the the punctuation how to do all the rules of punctuation on monday comma i will go to school you have to put comma there on monday comma i will go to school here what you are learning 
first letter should be always capital whenever you start a new sentence or a new question then you have to put first letter as capital letter then monday it is naming word all the naming words the first letter is capital and at the end of the sentence you have to put full stop and on monday means you are saying something different for monday so you have to put there comma rahim ravi and raju are going to see the circus now rahim Ra ravi and raju all are naming words names so all the three will be capital letter see here and then after rahim these are three names so when you write the three names or the, the four names means the naming words in continuation then you have to put commas rahim comma ravi the, the, there are only three names so now for before the third put a uh, third name you have to put and but when you put and don't put comma so rahim ravi and raju are going to see the circus full stop sita where are you looking so yes sita's first letter will be capital then you'll put comma after sita this is very important to, i told you and then where are you looking this is question so you at the end you'll put question mark the tailor went to the market mr singh the t will be capital and after market you'll put comma again because then you will write the name mr singh so the tailor went to the market mr singh here to begin two times leave it don't worry and then mr m is capital and singh again it is named so s is capital every sunday i go for a walk have breakfast read story see these are in sequence now what all he is doing he is going for a walk have breakfast read story books listen to music watch television so after every work which is doing you have to put one comma and first letter every e is capital again sunday is the naming word capital i go for a walk comma have breakfast comma read story books comma listen to music comma no not comma now and watch television so when you put and and will be there in the last and then there you don't have to put comma lakshmi why are you crying yes lakshmi l will be capital and then yes comma lakshmi comma why are you crying it is a question so question mark what is the color of the sky w capital and sky question mark in the end question mark now you are not writing any name so you don't have to put any comma it is a simple question plain question oranges mangoes bananas again you see there are names of four fruits so you will put go on putting commas oranges comma mangoes comma bananas and papayas are fruits now reading comprehension chinta chetu chinta chetu is a tamarind tree this fam famous tamarind tree is in gwalior it grows over tansen stone tansen was a great singer people in gwalior say eat the leaves of this tamarind tree and you will also sing like tansen now we will do fill in the blank by choosing the correct option first chinta chetu is a tamarind it is a tree not a leaf the famous tree is in gwalior tansen was a famous singer the tamarind tree grows over tansen's tomb and eat the leaves of tamarind tree and you will sing like tansen because tansen was a singer a very good singer now children see the videos and do your revision you will get all the knowledge of the lesson whatever you want question answers grammar part everything see more and more videos and please give importance to your studies